Okay, let's try this question. In the sketch, E is the midpoint of BC and AB is parallel to FE and it's parallel to DC. There's the three parallel lines and this is right in the middle. So BE equals EC. You're supposed to prove that A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. Well, let's see. What could we do with this? Well, we've got a triangle right here. We've got a triangle right here. And this E is in the midpoint. And this is a parallel line, a parallel line here. And if you have um, two parallel lines um, connecting to a midpoint, then that means that AF is going to be equal to FC. And that would be pretty useful. I think that would be pretty useful in getting that ABC is a parallelogram and getting started. But let's just see. This is one proof here over here, and well, let's see how they do it. That's what I'm looking for, different things there. There's so many different things you could do. Um, if you're going to prove it's a parallelogram, you can uh, prove that if you can prove that these two sides are equal or, and these two sides are equal, AD and BC is equal, uh, if you have one side is parallel and equal, there's different ways to prove a parallelogram. Let's see how we did this one. Well, let's see here. B, does it make sense that BAF and CD, uh, sorry, D, DCF, those angles right there are in the corners of a Z of these parallel lines because AB is parallel. Hey, they must be equal. So those two angles there are equal. And AF has to equal FC. It's a midpoint theorem. And we know that these two angles here are equal. Oh, so we've got this side's equal to this side. Remember I said the midpoint theorem? We got this angle's equal to this angle. We have vertically opposite angles. AFB and CFD are equal. That's an angle, a side, angle, side, angle, it looks like we've got here. Yes. Angle, side, angle on two triangles. So we can say that the, these two triangles here are congruent because of angle, side, angle. Well, if they're congruent triangles, then AB must be equal to CD. And I think that's what we need to prove. We've given that they're parallel. We know that the two sides are equal. If you have two opposite sides that are parallel and equal, it means that A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. There would be other ways to do it, but that's one of the uh, fastest ways, I think, to do it. So those are pretty challenging, but that's how you'd prove that A, B, C, D is a parallelogram.